All right, welcome back to Gomer Plays Mega Man 3 Redo! Yes! Um, so last time we took out Hard Man, who is not really hard. We got his flying fist job attack. And now, insert your own Indiana Jones quote here, because we're going for Snake Man. I have to get, I have to get over my ephidophobia somehow. <laughs> um, and those things. Those, uh, ow. You, come here, fuckers. Shoot me while I'm in the middle of trying to explain the name of an enemy. Those little bouncy guys, they're called Dadas. Which I always thought was amusing as fuck as a kid. You know, I, I know it's like the Japanese onomatopoeia for the jackhammer or whatever, you know. Da -da 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 but as a kid, it was like, wait, you're shooting somebody's father? What? Because, well, you know, hey, I was an ignorant American kid. <laughs> so, you know, I, had, I didn't know any better. Ah. Uh, but then you have the petite snakeys and then the big snakey. And hi, how you doing? Whoop, there you go. Ah, those aren't too hard. That's one of the good things about Mega Man 3 is uh, it's got the right mix of challenge and, and accessibility, I guess. Uh, it's definitely one of the easier ones, at least for me. Um, it might not be for anybody else, but it is for me. Oh, uh, yeah. So you, you get the right amount of challenge, especially if you go out of... Out of uh, one of the recommended orders. Uh, in fact, this game, which I'll probably explain again later on for those who come in a little late, uh, this game actually, most most Mega Man games have like one set recommended order where every Robot Master you beat will give you a weapon that's good against the next one. Uh, Mega Man 2 being an example, like, like my normal order in that one is Air Man, Crash Man, Flash Man, Me uh, not Metal Man, uh, Quick Man, Metal Man, um, Bubble Man, Heat Man, Wood Man, and that just continues going around like that. Now, before I continue on with the Mega Man 3 ones, I'm going to be, I'm going to sidetrack a little bit, oh, sidetrack back from my sidetracking. These things, they're not in any other Mega Man game as far as I know, and all they do, they hold prizes. And it's totally randomized, it could be energy, it could be big energy, it could be uh, big weapon energy, small versions of those, it could be one-ups, E-Tanks, you name it, it could be in there. And I think that's what they turned into Eddie in the next game. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, back to the uh, Robot Master order, though. For this particular game, uh, they actually have two different loops for it. One of them being formed with Snake Man, Gemini Man, and Needle Man, and then the rest forming another one. So, it makes going through a little bit easier, and it guarantees you have to take on two Robot Masters with at least two... Actually, at least two Robot Masters. I can speak, I swear. I can speak in-game at the same time. But you have to take on two of them with the Mega Buster. You know, no matter what. So. And that is if you're not doing any, like, self imposed challenges or anything. Or if you're just, you know, not worried about, you know, whatever. Um, I will be doing a lot more Mega Buster bossing, so. These things! Okay. What I did not realize as a kid, and I didn't realize until I was a little older, is that on some of these platforms, you can get pushed to the side or pushed off. Oof. Oh, whoa, whoa, hello! Yeah, like that one started to. If you're at the wrong spot, you will get pushed off and you will die. And we don't want to die. Oh, whoa, that was close. So, uh, sometimes, I didn't do it this time, but sometimes, like, when I'm playing on my own, I'll, like, sit there and jump. But I wanted to, you know, again, I wanted to just show that off proof, proof of concept thing. Bullet Bill clones. Uh, all right, so here we are, Snake Man. Uh, I would say slimy, but I know better. Snakes are not slimy, they're reptiles. Reptiles are inherently not slimy. And just like a lot of the Robot Master bosses in, uh, at least in, in uh, most games, you get them into a pattern and you just wail on them. And you have the advantage of being able to fire through the goddamn pillar there. And what am I doing? Why are you not firing your snakes, asshole? Fire your snakes! What the hell? Oh, there he goes. That was weird. Slow down! Okay, here we go. Ah! <laughs> I remember this This guy was one of the... Uh, this guy was actually one of the t toughest robot masters for me to fight as a kid. Mainly because I did not... You know, I didn't get his pattern. I didn't get... You know, I knew you fire through the thing, but it was just—it was just really tough for me as a kid. Nowadays, yeah, now you see, I just did it without taking any damage. 
he's a little tougher on the Game Boy, though, because, um, well, lack of space and everything. Uh, but for now, we have the Search Snake. Ah! So, yes, now I can throw snakes. I have become... The Ophidiophobe has become a snake charmer. <laughs> How about that, huh? So, that's that's not too bad, you know. Snake charming. You know, having attack snakes... I, 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 I am a legit an Ophidiophobe, but if I had, like, a group of attack snakes that I could just summon up from the ground whenever, that that kind of, that would be kind of awesome. That would be. I, I wouldn't have, like, anything poisonous. You know, like, maybe a constrictor or something. I could just... You know, have, have them pick up somebody who's trying to attack me and just, like, toss them somewhere. That would be awesome. But, enough of my rambling. <laughs> that is the end of this video. Thank you guys for listening and watching. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Um, something I did forget to mention in the last video. Uh, if you've noticed, my mic quality is different from previous videos uh, that I've done recently. Namely, the Bionic Commando trilogy, uh, the Super Win the Game series. Uh, it's because I'm using a different microphone. Because uh, the one I had been using kind of, kind of just went bork. And so this one I'm using is kind of a backup one until I can get a new microphone, which I'm in the market for. Um, which, you know, you'll see the Patreon stuff down like in the in the bottom or, or in the description or whatever. If you click on that, you like these, go click on that. You know, you'll 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 be able to uh, help out and and uh, you know get me another microphone <laughs> for this thing. I've already got my eye on what I want, so I I, I know what I need. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, okay, enough whoring myself out, enough rambling. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. Yeah.